Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Trailer Park Boys. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, two episodes left of the first season, and I can't wait to see how the first season ends. If you'd like to see the full unedited reaction to this episode and lots of other episodes, the link will be down below. Also, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all those links as well, just to keep you up to date with what's happening with videos and stuff like that. And if you just want to chat some crap and be friends and, and all that jazz, <laughs> let's just get into this now and have some fun. Andy, get the fire extinguisher. You better call the fire department Fuck before Mr. Stupid's car explodes. Sir, for God's sake, he. Did you just call my this son? This happens all the time. It's no big deal. Did just you just a fucking call radiator. Radiator. Yeah, I just yeah, called your son. Shut up! So not going for a picnic then, Lucy. I just can't believe you blame this on me. You're the one who left it running. Well, I wasn't. That... How? If you hadn't left the car running. It wouldn't have overheated. This is all your fault. No, Family that's... day is ruined. No, the thing is, Lucy, is that when I had the car run in the driveway, there was all these things going on, you fixing your hair and that. If I'd known it was going to take so long, I wouldn't have left You're it running. You're going to turn this around on me. I ruined family day. It's all Lucy's fault. It's not all your fault, this but is never 90%. Gonna work. This is never going to work. It's ridiculous. Just 98.9%. <laughs> and the other two's the kid. Well, one point, whatever. It's my one chance to show him a good guy. I didn't even get drunk last night. And now instead I'm fucking stupid again. And that's my fault. Yeah, well, I'm going to get drunk with my dad. So fuck off. Yeah. Wow, I mean, so the cycle continues. He, he's stressed because he didn't get drunk. So, I mean, is he an alcoholic? I mean, well, he see, Julian seems to be as well. I mean, he's got a drink in his hand all the time. Plato's the smartest man that ever lived. He said it's okay to lie if it truly benefits the cause of the people. Oxhacker called it the noble lie. So you have to lie to Lucy, Julian. Otherwise, she's never going to leave you alone. Besides, it's a good lie. Ricky and Lucy love each other. Something hurt in it. I mean, that must absolutely wreck his eyes, right? And I mean, he's not even looking at Julian. So he's... I mean... How? I mean, I've got glasses, and I mean, obviously they don't do that. And sometimes when I look through them, and then out of them and through them, I start to get sore eyes. So his eyes must literally be killing him. Hand off me. I'm not lying. You're not lying? No. Well, if you're not lying, why isn't Ricky in front of me on his knee right now asking for my hand in marriage, eh? No reason, because it's not true. Sure, she's, she's good Detective Columbo on the case. Uh, she can't be sitting in the middle of the road drinking. Guys, it's guys, against the law. You give me that beer back. Ricky, shut up. This is drunk and disorderly. You're a pack of beer. Would you guys stop it, Leahy? Leahy, Oh, God. Like father, like stupid son. What? Honestly, if they argue and fight with each other every day, I would be genuinely okay with it because it's just, it's like the phone messages. It's just the highlight of everything. I'm sorry, Julia. I guess I fucked up again, did I, buddy? Seems like I always fuck it up. And... Hey, man, you're not listening to me, buddy. I'm here. Seems Ricky. like I'm always fucking up yeah. and you're always coming to my rescue, it's... man. Yeah. The thing is, like, we got this plutonium kind of love shit going and I don't want to fuck that up, right? <laughs> All right. I love you, buddy. Okay, buddy. All right. I'm assuming he means platonic. Oh, you might mean plutonium. You, who knows? I don't know. I'm not in any rush to marry Lucy. What's the big deal? Why do you give a shit? Well, all right. You know, I didn't want to tell you this, okay? But because you haven't married Lucy yet, a lot of people are saying you might be gay. <laughs> gay? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, let's get married then. Because that would be the worst thing in the world for someone to think you're gay. <laughs> Hugging in a car parked on the side of the road, you know, we're not saying it's gay or anything and I don't know what would what would make somebody gay if that would make them gay or not. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're it's gay. It's definitely weird. You, you don't hug people, you, like, all the time. I'd hug him if, like, his mother died or something, but their mother didn't die, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, it's kind of strange. <laughs> well, these two are geniuses. I mean, look, I am 100% straight, but if, if a dude needed a hug to be, feel better and it wasn't in a car and he needed a hug, I'd hug the shit out of him, okay? I'd hug him. we will get to hug for a full minute. He could cry on my shoulder. I'd stroke his hair, okay? Maybe I'm a little gay. <laughs> no, but seriously, there's nothing wrong with two dudes having a hug. 
I want fifteen hundred dollars. I need a thousand for my dope equipment, and that'll leave me five hundred to buy Lucy a nice ring. So. Fuck, car would start. You know, my life's finally back together, so things are good. You know, I'm in the right direction. <laughs> you little fuckers! You're lucky I'm busy right now. Just mind his business, drive by. Don't, all right? I'm gonna have lots of fucking oh, money. Yeah, I'm see, not asking we, for a house here. You should just, you just leave. Like, fuck this shit. Just, no. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking asshole. I've been sexually assaulted here. That man tried to abuse me in a party. No, that, that's he not true. He up men and women all over the place. That's what not asshole? true. Julian, need some help here. God. Is he a friend of yours? No. Don't know the guy. It's weird that he knows my name and stuff. I can't believe he said that about that dude though. That's messed up. Oh. What's going on, dickweeds? What's that, dude? Let's go, smokes. <laughs> Here's the deal, boys. I'm gonna bore your car for- I love that every time he says some smokes. Let's go. <laughs> Oh man, I love that character a bit. Keys. What are you guys gonna do with my car? Knock knock, boys. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely stealing that one. Hello, Mr. Peterson from next door, just checking out your pipes. I love the fact that they're taking a camera crew along to rob someone. I mean, if this airs on TV, they're just going to get arrested. <laughs> what in the fuck? The fuck? Julian, I need some help over here. Ah, what are you doing? Cocksucker came at me, man. I'll probably get rabies. Am I bleeding? Yeah, you got a scratch. Put your gun down, Ricky. Did you find a ring? Did you find a ring? Yeah, man, I found a treasure chest. Check that. I thought it was some. Oh my god, I thought he had shot somebody. He was shooting at a cart. Oh, the whole Jim trick. Yeah, like everybody knows someone named Jim, right? So when he gets in ship or something, he just like throws the name Jim out there, and he figures someone will pick up on it, gives him an in, and then. He's home free. Jim really well, don't you, or something? Or Jim knows you? Jim, or... my father, Jim, you mean? Oh, he's your father, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, he mentioned he had a son in the force. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. You know no, the old man? Yeah, him and my dad go way back. Yeah. I'm trying to think, do I know someone called Jim? Nah, I don't think I know. It wouldn't work on me. I don't know a Jim. But that's really speaks to the fact that I don't have any friends. <laughs> I guess everything's uh, okay here. I'll take that tricycle with me. You guys if you can take that, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. You, guys can, uh, you guys can go on your way. Great. You don't have right. any smokes, do you? Smokes, yeah. yeah. Actually, I got one of my visor there if you want one. Yeah, cool. Wow, this dude is good. I mean, seriously, he was about to get arrested. Now he's getting off. He's taking that back to the scene of the crime, and he's giving him a cigarette. So what do you think? Would you want to get married to me? I mean, she doesn't look very happy about that, does she? We're gonna get married? Sure. I mean, it's lovely, but he also can't say the fact that she obviously would prefer to go out with Julian. Um, but again... They, they, they always seem to end on a quite a sweet note a, a show about drugs and violence it's quite heartwarming it, it, when it comes to the end of the episode it always is um I, i'm really enjoying the show every episode someone seems to fire a gun which i think is great same with the um with, with the answering machine messages and stuff like that again absolutely great it's just one of those shows that I think the more I watch it, the more I'm going to fall in love with it. It's it's great so far. I'm really enjoying it. But uh, I'm assuming it's just going to keep getting better and better and better. And I can't wait to find out. Uh, so I'll just leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon for more Trailer Park Boys reaction videos.